नेक्स्ट इज डेटा टाइप डेटा टाइप मीन्स टाइप ऑफ डेटा अ कॉलम इज गोइंग टू स्टोर फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्टूडेंट आई डी विन सी वी हैव द लेटर्स एज वेल एज नंबर सो दिस इज एल्फा न्यूमारिक नेचर फर्स्ट नेम वी हैव ऑल द एल्फाबेट्स तो सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी टेक्स टाइप अगेन दिस इज टेक्स टाइप हेयर वी अगेन हैव एल्फा न्यूमारिक वैल्यू एंड सपोज इफ वी हैव द डेट ऑफ बर्थ देन इट इज गोइंग टू हैव डेट If we have some amount in case of product table, what is the price of that product? Then we are going to store the decimal value. So these are different data types. Let's look at that. Data types are used to identify which kind of data or value we are going to store in the database. Fields themselves can be of different data type depending on the data they contain. So we have five categories. We can have numbers, which is numeric type. We can have alphabet as well as number, so it could be alpha numeric. Binary type. when we used to store some images music files etc that is binary type if you want to store some date and time like login time and date there you can use date and time and we have some other variable types let's understand numeric one first numeric data type are used to describe numeric values uh, in our database like information like mobile number roll number uh, year of school admission we can also have true or false value true or false value could be stored in boolean type boolean type is yes or no like for voter id you find out whether the age is equal to or greater than 18 or not yes or no so for that you can use boolean tiny integer so it is going to store up to 0 to 255 so from positive integer 0 to 255 similarly small end integer the range is going to increase when you go down big end then we have numeric the precision is going to increase decimal uh, in case you have some decimal value there you have decimal real float and double they all are used for decimal numbers and only the thing is that when you go down the precision will increase then we have alpha numeric value alpha numeric means alphabet as well as numbers so alpha numeric values we can have long where care we can have care we can have where care we can have where care ignore case let's understand care and where care care suppose if i had given care equals to 10 there will be 10 memory locations allotted to that particular field if i have given care 10 it means 10 memory location will be allotted to that particular field so name i have given care and time but suppose the name contains a uh, name of any employee contains only five characters five letters so it will take the first five one two three four five and rest will not be used they will be left unused but the memory will be reserved for it so in case if you want to save memory you can use where care if you use where care 10 and the employee's name has it has only five characters or five letters it will allocate the five characters to, to it one two three four five and last five will be freed up so the memory is not wasted in case you use where care next we have binary types binary data types are used for storing the binary format means zeros and ones so it could be the photos music files then we have date and time in case you want to store some date or time values for the field so it could be the date of admission date of birth there you are going to use date we have three data types available over here date will store the month day and year like this time will store the hours minutes seconds and time stamp will store both the date and the time now in this table let's decide the data type name cause we are going to use where care instead of care it's always better to use where care we can have where care 25 as i think that there could be maximum 25 characters in name for roll number we have all new numeric values so we can use numeric date of birth we have only dates so we can use date here for class 10th we can have care 1 because we have only one character over here then in contact number of phone we have again numeric values email we can have alpha numeric so alpha numeric again where care we can use it's not alpha numeric where care location we can have where care this is all what we have to cover now we are going to start with the tables how to create the table in design view and using the wizard creating the table i'll open base click on database in case you face any problem to create the database or jre problem is there please watch the video i will give the link in the description box as well as in the i button you can find the video a wizard will get open which will ask you to create a new database or open existing database of course you will choose to create a new database as you are creating it for the first time Then you click on next option. Here you will say yes, register it. 
you will select the very first option yes register that database for me after this it is asking you what you want to do you want to open the database for editing or you want to create table using user i want to open the database for editing and then i click on finish it will open save as dialog box give it a name and click on save these are four database objects which you are going to learn the first is table queries forms and report under table you have three options you can create the table in design view you can use the wizard to create the table and we have create view which is not in your course so we are going to explore these two options let's use the wizard to create the table click on this and it will take you to a step by step procedure where you can create the table this is the very first step there are four steps to create the table using wizard first is to select the fields this wizard help you to create a table for your database after selecting the table category now these are two categories business and personal right now the business is selected so in business you have all these tables which are already there then in personal if you choose personal you have these tables we have the sample tables choose the field that you want to include in your table so let's go to business and uh, here i am going to select employees now in employees i want employee id so for a single field you will choose this if you want all the fields see there are so many fields but i do not need all of them so i am selecting them one by one and then i am using this arrow to move from here to here so the fields that are moving to this side will be there in my table out of all these fields suppose i do not want the country or region and by mistake it is added so what i can do select it and then click on this arrow to remove the field or the column from your selected fields then click on next it will tell you the each field data type the field is employee id the data type is integer so you can set in case you want to change it you can set it from here then we have auto value auto auto value means automatically added in case you want that the employee id is added automatically then you can select the value yes similarly for first name the field name is first name now over here it is var care so as i told you you always select var care because the memory will be saved in case you choose var care last name also var care then mobile number var care instead of var care you can choose uh, number numeric then department again var care entry required means do you want them to enter the data over here or not so in the first name i said yes please enter the name so it will be mandatory for the user to enter the values in this column first name click on next these are the properties different properties of the field or column click on next here you have to set the primary key primary key uh, is the column which help you to uniquely identify the record in case you want to use customer id as primary key you can set that or if you won't select any of the column as primary key open office base will automatically create a primary key field itself and it will increment the value on its own like it will start from 0 then 1 2 3 and so on so here automatically add a primary key in case you do not have any field or you want to use any of the field which you have selected in your table so here i can use employee id as the primary key then click on next last step is to give the name for your table and what do you want to do next you want to insert the data you want to change the structure of the table you want to add or delete or you want to update the table structure or you want to create a form so i want to insert the data in this table so click on finish after that employees table and uh, these are the fields which you have selected for your table employee id first name last name mobile number and department let's insert the values in your table employee id is 1 and these value then you will come to the next one this is how we can add the record after adding the record you can take on save current record and then close the table we want to see the records and want to add more just double click on the table and again it will get open where you can add more records again i am going to save it and close the table now if you want to make any changes in your table like suppose i want to add some column in this table so what you can do right click on the table and here you have edit option add one more column salary 
and the data type I want some decimal so we can have decimal over here then entry required yes or no these are the properties field properties we can see default value default value in case the user forget to enter the array of the zero or for uh, if the employee is not there for the environment then the salary is zero so default value is zero okay so these are different field properties that uh, are related with the particular field which is salary this is the design view of the table you can see there is a key size icon over here it means this field employee id is the primary key for this table click on save and then close the table click on yes we are going to create a new table so i'll create the table student so roll number and here in in roll number i will use numbers then we have name of the student then text where care i think is perfect the length uh, you can decide is let's say maximum 25 characters and entry required is yes. Then we have date of birth. Date of birth for this I will choose date. Fee you can choose decimal or you can choose float, double, whatever you want to. So this is the design view where these are different fields which you have created. The data type of each field. Roll number, the data type for roll number field is number. For name, it is text where care. For date of birth, it's date. Then for fee, I have chosen float. You can choose decimal also. So these are different data types: text care, then numeric, then decimal, integer, float, real, double, text where care, text where care, ignore case, yes or no, date, time, timestamps. These are frequently used data types. Then these are the different field properties which we have discussed. Once you are satisfied, click on save and close the table click on yes and here you have to give the name to the table let's say student click on ok and it will give you a warning that you have not taken any field as primary key see you have not created the any of the field as primary key so it has automatically added one of the field id which is serving as primary key this is how you can add the records in your table click on save and then close the table. So we have created two tables over here. One table we have created employees using the wizard. The second table student we have created using design view and we have entered the data also in the table. In the next video we are going to cover what are queries, how to create the queries. I hope the concepts are clear to you but in case you have any doubt you can write in the comment section and tune into my channel for the coming videos. Thank you so much.